Welcome to this Fix It channel and this is a little tips and tricks video. If you've upgraded your computer from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 and lost Wi-Fi connectivity, there's a few things that you might check for. I've upgraded five of my computers to Windows 10 and one of them did get a Wi-Fi issue. So the first thing that you need to check is to make sure that your Wi-Fi adapter is installed. To do this, right click on the start button, go into the device manager, and in the device manager you're going to open the um, part where it says network adapters. Make sure that you have something that's wireless installed. So here I've got Realtek Wireless LAN 802.11n and so on. You need to have something that has wireless next to it. If you have Ethernet controller, there's one thing that you need to know. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can plug in through a cable for now on your router. And with a network cable, you'll be able to get the Internet, at least for now. To get the adapter, if you see that there's some device that's unknown and not installed correctly, what you'll need to do is simply go to your website's manufacturer. So the, uh, if you have an HP, go to hp.com, Dell, Dell.com, uh, Toshiba.com, and so on, and get yourself the latest adapter, uh, the latest version. If you don't see a Windows 10 driver for your model, use the Windows 8.1 driver. It usually works well, even in Windows 10. Now, say you've got it, and it's there you should be able to actually click on your Wi-Fi and check out the different networks around you. If the problem is that you can't connect to your Wi-Fi, it might be that the settings or the information is corrupted. So to fix that, what you do is you go into Notifications, go into All Settings. Here, you will go into Network and Internet. And when you're on Network and Internet, you will, of course, go down the list and you'll see um, advanced options and manage Wi-Fi settings. So manage Wi-Fi settings, make sure that everything is all right. And in the manage known networks, what you'll do is you'll click on the Wi-Fi network that you can't connect to and you'll click forget. What's this going to do, it's going to remove the network from your list. And if this is the reason why it can't connect, it's because it might be of a corruption of the file. Go into the advanced option, make sure that, um, you know, make this PC discoverable is on to make sure that it works well. And once that is done, just go back to your Wi-Fi adapter uh, or the Wi-Fi uh, icon, sorry, on the bottom right, and re-click your connection and enter the password when you click connect, and it will um, hopefully connect to your Wi-Fi network. Um, this is a common issue, and usually one of these two little things fix it. So make sure that you have a Wi-Fi adapter, and then make sure that the you know, the, the settings, the basic settings you already had in your Windows 7 or 8.1 that were moved to Windows 10 um, are not corrupted. So just remove that and re-enter, re-click and re-enter your Wi-Fi password. That should fix 90% of all the Wi-Fi problems on your computer. And if you don't have any connectivity or anything and you're saying, well, I can't go to a website of my manufacturer because I don't have Wi-Fi, well, that means you'll have to use a friend's computer. That means you'll have to uh, simply uh, use somebody else's uh, internet to at least get the drivers that you need for your own machine. And don't install anything. Make sure you go to your manufacturer's website and install the correct model number that you have for the Wi-Fi adapter. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy our videos. Please give us a thumbs up if you like our videos. And uh, hope that you will continue following us on this channel.